Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're making what I consider to be one of the most epic tapas appetizers that hail from Spain. And it's a dish that you'll find served at so many different tapas restaurants throughout the country. We're talking Spanish cod croquettes, known in Spain as croquetas de bacalao. And let me tell you, these croquettes have a beautiful light crispy texture on the outside with an incredible creamy interior. The recipe is made with the simplest ingredients and it's all done in a little over 30 minutes. Folks serve these croquettes as a tapas appetizer or even as a main course next to some roasted potatoes in a garden salad. Either way, with each bite, you're going to have an instant trip to beautiful España. All right, let's begin by filling your saucepan with some water. You want to go to about the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to add in an 8 ounce filet of cod, which is 225 grams. And we're going to cook it between 5 to 6 minutes or until it's just cooked through. The filet of cod I'm using about frozen and thawed out, but you can also use the fresh stuff here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Once the cod is just cooked through, once again between 5 to 6 minutes, we'll remove it from the heat and drain it into a colander. Then we'll transfer the cod fillet into a cutting board, roughly chop it, and then set it aside. For the next step, let's start making our creamy filling. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. Important to use a great olive oil here, as this is what truly flavors the creamy filling. Link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using in the description box below. While the oil is heating, I'm going to finely chop one small onion and finely chop three cloves of garlic. Then we'll add the chopped ingredients into the hot fry pan. And we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this around continuously, that way the garlic and onion don't brown too quickly and everything evenly sautés. After three to four minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, and both ingredients are lightly sauteed, we'll add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, which is 30 grams. And we'll continue to mix this, and go for about two minutes here. This is enough time to cook off the flavor in the raw flour, that way it doesn't overpower the croquettes. After about two minutes, I'm going to start slowly adding in one cup of milk, which is 240 milliliters, while mixing it continuously. I'm using low-fat milk here, but you can also use full-fat, non-fat, or even plant-based one if you're lactose intolerant. Once all the milk has been added, we'll add in the cod that we cooked earlier, along with two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is 8 grams. You can sub this for one teaspoon of dried parsley, which is about one gram. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're going to continue to mix this and go between four to five minutes or until we end up with a thick paste-like texture. After about five minutes and we've ended up with a thick paste-like texture, we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer the mixture into a bowl and cover it with some saran wrap. And we're going to let this sit here for a few minutes, that way it can come to room temperature. In the meantime, let's get the rest of the elements ready to put these croquettes together. I'm going to crack in two eggs into a bowl, season the eggs with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and give it a whisk until it's well mixed together. Then we'll add in one cup of plain breadcrumbs into a separate bowl, which is 120 grams. You can also use seasoned breadcrumbs here if you like. And half a cup of all-purpose flour into a third separate bowl, which is 60 grams. Okay, let's move back to our mixture. Once it's cool enough to handle, let's start shaping our croquettes. You can shape them any design you like, from a ball to a log, which is the most classic one in Spain. Either way, make sure all the croquettes are similar in size, that way they all evenly cook. And if you see that your mixture is too sticky to work with, you just add in some breadcrumbs and mix them in there. Or you can add the mixture into the fridge or the freezer, and that'll take the stickiness away, usually between 15 to 30 minutes. Then we'll coat the croquettes, first in the all-purpose flour, 
then in the egg wash, and finally into the breadcrumbs. And you want to make sure at each coating stage that they're fully coated all around. For the final step, let's start cooking up our croquettes. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in one cup of virgin olive oil, which is 240 milliliters. You can use other oils here, such as sunflower, canola, or even grapeseed oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, we'll start adding in the croquettes. And you want to make sure they're all in a single layer and evenly spaced out. And we're going to go for about one minute per side here until the croquettes are golden fried all around. After a couple minutes and the croquettes are golden fried, we'll remove them from the fry pan and transfer them to a dish with paper towels. Then we'll add some of the croquettes into a serving dish. And garnish with fresh parsley. Check it out, croquetas de bacalao, Spanish cod croquettes. Beautiful presentation, super easy to make, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Once again, folks, croquetas de bacalao, truly what classic Spanish food is all about. Look at that, here we go. It's really such an exciting dish, it makes you want to dance. <laughs> but first things first, you have that light crispy texture on the outside and the inside, that beautiful creaminess with the cod really shining through. You saw this easy to make, simple ingredients. Give it a try at home, once again as a topless appetizer, or even as a main course, next to some roasted potatoes and a garden salad. Either way, with each bite, an instant trip to beautiful España. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Emily Hamilton, Manuel J. Rosales, David Houston, and Britt Saunders. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. Then we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.